Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> And you don't seem to understand We're all connected, reads the lame video sleeve. There is a world around us, a world of people, tactile sensation and culture. There is the wired world, inside the computer, of images, personalities, virtual experience, and a culture all of its own. Lame is a story about what happens when the lines between these worlds begin to disappear, if they were ever there to begin with. This is one of the core themes of the show, as we can see from the beginning of the first Why? episode. Why won't you come? You really should come here. <laughs> this is Chisa Yamoda, and she is about to kill herself to upload her consciousness to the internet. Why won't you come here, is the question the viewers asked. Where is here? The internet. We are immediately introduced to wires, a common theme throughout the show. Now we're introduced to our protagonist, Lane. And as you can see from the bleak environment that surrounds her and the complete and utter lack of people in contrast to the opening of the show, that she is not connected. However, she's still surrounded by the wires and the humming and the frequencies, which will play a major role in the plot's development. If you pay close attention to the soundtrack, you can hear a constant murmuring representing the conversations and the communication taking place within the internet. And even though these conversations aren't taking place in real life, we see that Lane hears them and reacts in the scene. It's so noisy. Can you just shut up? Huh? Huh? Lane seems to be the only one able to hear these voices. And this is meant to show us as the viewer that there's something different about Lane than the rest of the characters throughout the show. She's... Lane! 
So, did you get one too? Get what? The email. Email? Chisa Yamoda's email. Mm, I'm not up on all that stuff. You really ought to check your email at least once a day. It's best to, you know. Baby Lane doesn't know computers. Huh? Poor Julie. Why is she crying? Because she got that awful email from Chisa. Oh, can't you put two and two together? Chisa? It was suicide. She was the one in D in our second period. She jumped off a building last week. The teacher told everyone. And it's not just Julie. There were a whole bunch of other people who had gotten email from her this week also. But if she's... she's... Dead? Then we shouldn't be getting any email from her. As we can see, Lane break. is very disconnected from the events going on around her. She's not connected to the digital world. As we can see, she hardly has ever used her computer. She doesn't even know what email is. I think this should be interpreted more symbolically rather than literally, and that Lane represents a person that hasn't used the internet much. She represents any person who isn't connected to the internet, who doesn't use the internet on a regular <laughs> basis, and who might not be up to date with current trends. This defining moment is when Lane begins her adventure down the rabbit hole into Wonderland. Lane is connecting for the first time, and whether or not she will ever be the same is up to the viewer to interpret. Log in. Notice that she's setting Who up her computer the for the first time. Mm -hmm. We as the viewer are being introduced to a character that has no knowledge of technology. Lane. Voice accepted. Greetings to user Lane. User Lane it's important to acknowledge from the beginning of the show that the wired is inherently from? different from the internet in one fundamental way. For the sake of interpreting Lane, try to perceive the internet as a spiritual plane, as the other side, as heaven or hell. Do you remember? Mm. I have only given up my body. You see, by sending you email, I can use this system to explain to you that I am still alive. I wanted to let you know this, Lane. I want all the others to know, too, so I have sent them email also. You may find this hard to believe. Do you understand? It's okay if you don't. You will all understand soon. Why did you die? There is a rumor at that school that this email is some sort of a prank. But I want you to know, Lane, that it is not a prank. This is real. But why? Why did you die? Here. There is a god. One of the main questions the show will ask the viewer is what characteristics do the digital world require to be one and the same as the spiritual world that you imagine? Lane's room is filled with stuffed animals, a symbol of innocence, and she wears a bear suit showing how childish she is. Laying around her room and doing nothing is really all that Lane does. What is it, Lane? You usually don't come to visit me in here? What is it? This scene has two important messages for the future of the show. The first is the commentary on the need for digital upgrades and how quickly technology is outdated. I... Lane has hardly begun using her computer and is already in need of a more powerful system. You know that Navi? 
in my room? It's old now. Do you think that I could... <laughs> so finally caught the computer bug, have you? Lane, you are in junior high now already. Your school chums must be leaving you in the technical dust. Huh? We should upgrade that old Navi. You know, Lane, in the real world, or the wired world, people are connected somehow. That's how societies are created. You should broaden your horizons. Make an effort to create friends. Take the initiative. Even a girl like you should be able to make friends right off the bat. You can live and communicate in both worlds. There's nothing to be afraid of. I wish your mother could understand that. Secondly, it shows us how awkward Lane's relationship with her parents is, which will be very crucial later in the story. I'm not scared. Not really. So, why are you up so late? I'm talking about your old Navi. I have a friend I want to see. In my opinion, Lane is a show about predictions. This is a prediction of what the internet might be like in the future with technological advances. And we can see as we transition into the next episode, more predictions of ways that technology could impact our future. We are introduced to a nightclub called Siberia, and we see a young man who is beginning to take a drug that is made from a computer. street called Excella uses nanomechanisms and oscillate at a specific frequency within the body. This triggers the secretion of a synthetic hormone. It is said that when secreted, this hormone completely alters the response time of the human brain, making it seem as if one's awareness is accelerated. Not only its awareness, but the workings of the brain itself are altered. Multiplying the speed at which the brain calculates by a factor of 12. As the drugs begin to hit this young man, we see the girls from Lane's class. We also see a girl who looks similar to Lane, but dressed much differently and with a much more aggressive personality. This is the first time we see Lane's digital persona, a commentary on how the people we are in real life and the people we present ourselves as in the digital world are different. We then cut to Lane, who has increased her technological knowledge rapidly I don't have mail. and seems to be addicted to email. I don't get
get it. I don't 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 get it. Now we can see that on Lane's way to school, she's being stalked by the men in black. These people will also play an important role in the plot's development. This is also a good opportunity to point out the special attention that the artists pay to the character's eyes in this series. If you look at Lane's pupils closely, they are small dilated dots, whereas the other characters in the series have much larger pupils, which like everything else in Lane, has a deeper meaning. It's also important to pay attention to how the Lane. creators chose to use the camera in this scene. Hi, Lane. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Alice. I'm right. See what I mean? It couldn't have been her. You really think so? I don't know. By panning back and forth between the girls and Lane it? in this way, we get a strong visual representation of how separated oh, how Lane is from the girls like in her that. class. It's nothing. Come on, let's just go. Mm. But Alice, she really... Come on. You know what? She does look like her. Huh? So, Lane, what were you doing last night anyway? Huh? See, I told you. Come on. It wasn't her. You're right. She looks nothing like her. Well... Tell me. What? We were partying, Lane, out at Siberia last night, where we saw a girl who looked exactly like you. You say Siberia? It's a new club that plays really great hardcore techno for a really hip young crowd. It turns out Siberia is more and than just know, a club in this series, we and will serve like as you, the Lane. primary ground where the wired and the night, real world I begin was... to blend. I believe you, Lane. There's no way it was you. I admit, though, I didn't get a close look at her, but she was wearing these really wild clothes and was copping attitude and chewing people out all night long, right? Yeah, it was like she was like the total opposite of your personality. But I saw her. Lane does look like her. Say, I've got an idea. Next time you come with us. There. Could you sign this, please? This Navi is so cool. Fast, simple to use. I wish... Oh. So all of this here is for you? Not sure. Huh? Then you don't even know what all of these things are? It's a top-of-the-line Navi. Fully loaded, too. A computer with this kind of horsepower can handle any kind of software without ever crashing, even in the wired. Me, I only use a home-brewed system myself. It doesn't hold a candle to this. It doesn't matter. You see, I don't know hardly anything about it. <laughs> you will, soon enough. Well, so long. It's important to pay attention to Lane's facial expression in this upcoming scene. When she sees her parents kissing and expressing affection, she seems to be looking at it with a genuine confusion and misunderstanding, as if it's something she's never seen before. We also see them eerily staring at Lane today. while they right? kiss. It's clearly a performance. Get that mess cleaned up soon, all right? It's in the way. What do you say we get the whole thing set up for you right after dinner, okay? <clears throat> to be honest, I'm interested to see how this thing operates myself. Dad. What? Could you maybe set it up for me right now? Now? Mind telling me what's the big hurry right now? We also see how quickly Lane has become addicted to the internet Lane. and how impatient she is to get okay. more involved. child's navvy, like the one you have, Lane, can't be used forever. Communication is essential. The information highway is the key. You have to keep up with the times. And for that, you need a state-of-the-art high-end machine. Understand, Lane? As we know from the previous scenes, Siberia is a nightclub that serves drugs and alcohol. Uh -huh. However, we're as we're introduced to Siberia for the first time, we quickly discover that Siberia actually is marketed towards young children. 
However, these children have extreme technological knowledge. A commentary hall hey. in a future filled hey, with technology. What ass. will the difference be between technologically so advanced sorry. children and adults that, who know nothing about the internet? By information control right off the bat. Don't you think it's okay if you're under attack? Hey, let's go over to the game center. It's also important to notice how Lane's personality and outfit in no way Jeez, resemble her digital so long, persona Lane? that we saw earlier Aren't in this episode. In bed by now, Lane? <laughs> oh, Lane! Don't you have any other clothes you can wear? This is a party, you know. Girls, I'll help Zero you find two. something nice for next time, okay, Lane? Ah, you think we'd recognize her dressed up? Thank huh? Hey, Alice! What? I guess the girl that we saw the other night wasn't really Lane after all. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Julie. Lane isn't anything like her at all. The girl we saw in here, she had attitude. She wouldn't put up with anything. And that person really looked that much like me? Yeah, it's true. I thought it was really you. The scene that we're about to witness is where the anime becomes more esoteric and confusing. We see that Lane is blatantly traumatized by the violence she is witnessing. However, as a defense mechanism, we are about to see Lane's digital personality manifest in the real world. This is because, as stated before, Siberia is a place where the digital world and the real world overlap. What's she doing just standing there? Vega, take care of Julie. Alice? Uh, Alice? What are you looking at? Lane, hurry. Wake up, Lane. Come on. Lane. Lane, please. Just get out of here. Notice how he recognizes <gasps> Lane after the light shines on her. making me do this! What right do you have? I just wanted to clean my head! I, I had a... I, you don't understand! You just don't understand! It. I don't know anything about this! I don't know anything about it! That's your God! It's not my God! It's got nothing to do with me! Just leave me out of it! Just, just leave me out of it! Just, just leave me out of it! The wire can never interfere with the real world! Just leave me out of it! Will you? Who the hell are you? Lane! <laughs> Leave me out of it. 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 No matter where you are, everyone is always connected. Why are you making me do this? That's your god, not my god. Leave me out of it. The Wired can never interfere with the real world. This is our first real introduction to Lane's digital personality, and we can see that she clearly has some kind of agenda. Lane's altered personalities will play a major theme throughout the show. No matter where you are, everyone is always connected. This is the first time we hear of Digital Lane's ideology. The mystery of Lane's many personalities will be explored further throughout the show. For now, all you need to know is that the Lane in the real world has no idea what the Lane in the digital world is up to. Or perhaps if she even exists. What I find so interesting is that this anime was released in 1998 and how accurately it predicted how we would have different personalities online. 
This next episode is called and requires a little bit of explanation. First, Psyche was a human mortal who fell in love with Cupid and then became a god. Psyche is also a theory put forth by Freud meant to describe the entirety of the human soul. This episode explores the concept of the human identity online and offline, and asks us what might happen if the line between the two began to blur. There's a girl named Lane. You may have heard of her. She's on the wired. Lane. Lane, I'm so sorry. The scene is important because it me? shows us Alice's Are relationship okay, with Lane? Lane. Alice is one of the most human characters in the show Are you and is meant right to now? show us an example of what home, the Lane. author believes a good human uh, is supposed to be like. What? What is it? Yes, Lane. Ah. Uh, I'll be... Um... <gasps> Alice! Come on! We're going home! Lane! Alice! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lane. Tomorrow? We'll talk tomorrow. Okay? Lane comes home to discover that it is completely abandoned. I think this is meant to teach us more about Lane's relationship with her parents. She just witnessed a murder. She was just detained by the police. But not only were her parents not involved in the process, but they aren't even concerned. Lane is desperate to find connection after the serious events that just occurred, and she goes to the only place that she knows where she can find people who will accept her. Her only companionship besides the internet are the lifeless dolls that fill her room. This can also be seen as a commentary on routines. Lane checks if her parents are home, aimlessly browses the computer, checks if there is any mail, procrastinate, and then repeats. There are no messages for Lane. <sighs> Good night, Navi. Good night, Lane. Her parents might not be there, but at least she has her computer to support her. As we can see, Lane is still being stalked by the men in black who are currently in this car. In this scene, I believe either the Knights or God is making their first contact with Lane through the Wired. Lane. 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 Good morning. Lane, you can hear me, can't you? Who's there? You are not alone. Everyone is always connected. Notice how similar this is to what Digital Lane says in the nightclub. It's not all. If you see the Pashuke, simply Pashuke. an upgraded processor, you lose sight of the whole picture. As a multi-purpose information terminal, navvies have come into use all over the world, even with grade school children. However, activity within the wired is currently limited by the machine. The Pashuke can dramatically enhance the navvy in ways not yet fully understood. There is no reason. For me to stay in the real world any longer. Chisa is still haunting me. It was Lane. only holding me back. In the real world, it no longer mattered whether I was there or not. When I realized that, I was no longer afraid of losing my body. Now I can be wherever I choose. Who is Lane? Who is Lane? The Psyche processor is like the soul of the computer, and will be the hardware that allows Lane to begin inserting more of her consciousness into the internet while maintaining her physical body. As we can see, the boundary between reality and the wired is very thin for Lane. In these scenes, she's basically being harassed by voices from the internet, who are communicating with her without a device. I think it's also important to explore the concept of bullying and social connection in this show. 
Why does Chisa feel like there's no reason for her to exist in the physical world? Why doesn't it matter if she's there or not? Reka, this was another prediction of how the internet would I mean, change night, the way that people react to the environment around them. But we're acting like I believe this message is similar to the second kind of episode world. of Black Mirror, White Bear. Well, people are so desensitized to violence that they're more interested in filming it on their phones and helping someone in trouble. The suffering of the victim doesn't seem real. They can't take it seriously. No, that's not what I mean. It's just that it's strange that we can't take it seriously. Right, Lane? The girls have all become desensitized by the internet. What's that? Lane, did somebody send you a love letter? What? No way! No, I tell Lane has no idea what not. she just Let found in her locker. Let us see. Come on, but we will later me. find out that it. it is a psyche processor that, that was Come planted on, on her by the knights. Ah, a brown envelope. Is there oh. anything inside it? So, what have we got here? Well, talk about boring. I knew it wasn't. Pushuke. Psyche. It's not a secure program. Some hacker got into my voicemail this morning. Hacking. I can't believe it. Seeing as how there was no pertinent information in the research we received from your office, we're currently discussing how to handle it. Business now, and education. I love kissing. Just kissing is enough to make me happy. Romantic connection and love. That kid pulled some stupid stunt while he was on Excel, all right? Looks like the black market supplier's freaking out. You just can't find it anywhere now. Information. Rumor has it that the Pashuke chip is mass-produced in factories in Taiwan. They'll tell you that it was designed by a group of renegades called the Knights. There are a lot of urban legends like that surrounding the wire. I'm not sure if these knights even exist. It feels so good when you die. I feel like I'm being accelerated. Oh, no, there's someone in my room. Can't you see? There's a little person like a kid there wearing red and green striped clothes. I can't move in my bed. It's standing by my door. I can feel it watching me. Someone help me! I have a picture of you with your lover. Blackmail. If you don't want it, I'll leave this JPEG to your company server. You'll be famous all over the wire. The way Lane is using the internet is changing. Lane, why won't you come here? She's not just sitting around and waiting for email. She's exploring the internet. How's it going, Lane? So tell me, have you gotten used to your new Navi yet? We see that Yasuo is attempting to bond with Lane. However, in this What's scene, the he obviously wrong? lies to her and pretends he doesn't know what the Psyche Processor is. It's Do my belief that he pretends is? to not know what it is to try and protect Lane from the no dangers she will experience from diving deeper you know. into the internet. I thought that you'd know, Daddy. Lane, I said I, I don't know. I don't think he wants the knight's plan to succeed. At this point, we begin to understand that the men in black are always following Lane. We see them in any scene where she leaves the house. This is the second time we see people getting frisky in front of Lane, and I believe this is meant to show us that physical intimacy does exist in Lane's world. It's just not something she takes a part of. What are you trying to act so tough Excuse for? me. Look who's talking. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's a real Pashuke, isn't it? Pashuke. Huh? I don't Whoa, believe it. No way. I've never seen one before. Where in the world did you get it? 
What exactly does it do? You mean you don't know? If I installed that thing in here, I could have full access to the wire and do anything I want with it! But I still don't understand how to use it. You don't know? Talk about lame, man. <laughs> Wanna sell it? Can I buy it off you, huh? Can I? Moron, you can't buy something like that! As Tara's friend begins to explain how the psyche processor works, we see that Tara so that recognizes Lane. basic information at school, right? So you should know, a Navi's basic motherboard layout is right there in the textbook. He seems to know you her digital that persona. Opposite to the main processor. It intercepts the original it online looks like he doesn't believe that Lane doesn't know what the processor its is. Using it's almost as easy as building a model kit. Just avoid static electricity. Oh, thank you. Hold it! Information isn't free here, you know. It doesn't matter if you're in the real world or the wired. How much should we charge, Tato? How much? Oh, well... You're lame, aren't you? <sighs> right. I remember seeing you once. You were in the wired. You saw me? Logged on the wired? You were different. Nothing like the way you seem now. There's nothing unusual about taking on a different personality in the wire than the one you have in the real world. It's pretty much expected, but yours are like total opposites. No way! And weren't you also in the club at the same time when those stupid shootings happened? So what are you planning to do now? What Notice you... that he asks her what, what she's to planning to do. This is the first Go time we receive a hint that Lane Moron. might have been involved in the shooting quiet, in the previous but episode. But not like you are now. I want the wild Lane. <sighs> I'm only kidding, girlfriend. But hey, if you ever feel like going out sometime... What the hell what? are you talking about? Mew Mew, chill out. Forget about it, you're just jealous. Jealous? Jealous, right. Can I help you? Are you here to see someone? Who are you looking for? <gasps> Just keep walking and don't turn back. You never saw us at all, understand? I'll call the police. Who the hell are you? Go ahead. But what could you possibly say to them when we're not even here? Hey, hold on. Hey, don't you walk away! Ugh. Mom, if they show up again, you should call the cops. Notice how Are her mom listening? doesn't seem mom? to care. <sighs> Mika is much more like her mother than her father. She's the only character besides Lane <laughs> in the show who is this age and knows nothing about technology. Lane, what in the world are you doing in here? Huh? What are you doing? Lane is why, getting drawn deeper into like the that? internet. And uh, we are about to see a new digital personality that is being brought about the by the border really being weakened. To take your clothes off. Huh? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Welcome home, big sister. It is important to notice that this is the first time we hear about the Knights, who will play a major role in the development and lane and contribute to more of the obscure plot points that people have difficulty understanding. For now, all you need to know about the Knights is that they're interested in Lane and giving her hardware in order to help her gain more access to the internet. They're the deviceless voices talking to Lane throughout the show. I believe they are the reason that Chisa is harassing Lane. He 
you will discover more about their motives in later episodes, and also come to understand why they are so interested in Lane. We'll learn who Lane really is, what the deal is with the men in black, who are not aligned with the knights but still seem to be very interested in Lane. Honestly, the symbolism and ideas that will be explored in later episodes are much more interesting than the ones explored in the beginning of the series. The first three episodes serve mostly for exposition to prepare the viewer to understand the messages that will be a part of the show as a whole. I think this show can definitely get you thinking about interesting concepts. I'm excited to explain some of the more complicated parts of the show in future episodes, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for taking your time to watch this, and please let me know about any feedback you have in the comments below. Drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I work really hard on everything I make, and I hope to make some cool new things soon. レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レインを好きになりましょう。レ